It's been 264 days since I last killed. It's been zero days since I killed. Hello and welcome to another Smurf P video. And today we are looking at X-Men Psylocke, the Apocalypse Wave. So the usual standard box is there and there she is in her prison. Top's got a nice X-Men logo. And then this is always my favorite bit, seeing the side. Which is pretty cool. And on the back, you've got the promo shot. And then you've got a little bit about Betsy. Betsy. I meant Betsy. As she went from an English woman in a Japanese body. That's just crazy. And these are all the other figures from the line. Pretty solid lineup. Uh, pretty much all figures that I think most fans would want. And then there's the Apocalypse. So let's get her out of her cage. So first up, she comes with the left leg for Apocalypse. And obviously I'll be reviewing him by the time I've got through all seven figures. Because there's quite a few. There's seven. I just said that. Crazy. Stop talking. Okay, so first of all, we have the accessories, which are really, really nice. So we've got the, the butterfly effect, which I'll put on her face before the end of the video, which is um, really quite nice. Then we have the sword with the... The kinetic effect so you can have the sword on its own or you can have that with it which is um pretty 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 damn nice and then something that she's used for numerous years in the comics is her um side knife which um she creates out of her hand and she usually sticks it in somebody's brain because they're being controlled or something like that so um for this hasbro have really thought about what they want to give us with this figure and just to um make it that much better than perhaps just a, a lady in a ninja leotard. Um, so they've really thought about Psylocke, the character, and they've given us three things that she she has used over the years in various um, different scenarios, so to speak. So onto the figure itself. Um, first of all, there seems to be a variant. So you can get her with purple hair, which I think mine is purple. Um, and there's a, a dark hair variant. So... Um, that's really nice. I'm not sure if you can actually see in this video. I think mine's purple, but I could be just going mad. So um, the face is really nice. Um, you can really get a Psylocke feel from that. And then it's got the, the classic outfit, which she has worn for years. Even when she was doing things with X-Force, she pretty much just wore this. So it's got a nice little ribbon around there, which is really cool. So yeah, I am digging that. Look at that. That head sculpt is just spot on as far as I'm concerned. Really, really nice. Really thoughtful. Okay, so I found that everything just fits on nicely. Um, with this though, I just popped the, the hand out to just kind of fit this around the wrist. The sword slips in really nicely and the the butterfly effect on her, on her face just slots on really nicely. Um, obviously, just be careful because... You don't want to put too much pressure on it because it doesn't need it and you don't want to damage any paintwork that there may be. Uh, I just want to say sorry because I, I really didn't put the, the side blade on the hand properly whatsoever so you could kind of um, see it poking out, so uh, the hand poking out, whereas it's meant to be a, a one card device where she's just going, Kruh! yeah, sorry, hand palm in the middle. So here she is next to her San Diego... Um, partner so to speak um, and this was more based this one sorry was more based on the x-force psylocke at the time so um i was at first thinking this was a similar kind of body but looking at them now you know i i feel like they are this this is a completely different body so i'm definitely still going to keep this one because you know it goes with um the archangel and wolverine from that set so definitely keeping it and you know it's got a darker tone to it where this was the, the kind of blue which she was kind of wearing back in the 90s and one thing i will point out which was um kind of a bit of annoyance is um whoever was um doing the work here they've kind of spilled a bit of blue it's not it's not a deal breaker but it kind of makes it look a bit um a little bit tacky in my in my mind which is a bit disappointing but um really happy how this figure has turned out when i looked at these figures um during their um, promo shots, um, I think it was last year, I, I I kind of looked at them. I thought, oh man, they just look. They just all looked a bit disappointed. But getting this out firsthand, I'm quite happy with with the outcome of this Psylocke. 
So let's get her with her fellow blue okay, team. Okay, so here she is with her fellow blue team. Um, and if you want to go with a, a kind of anime, f even feel. though um, she wasn't in it for that much, you, you could probably take this Wolverine out and put the new Wolverine from this line into it. Um, one, one gripe that I have about trying to complete this blue is wave. the fact that we still have not got a 90s Jubilee. We've still got Vampire Jubilee. Um, which would have been cool if you had uh, two heads, one with her with the vampire fangs. It would have probably worked a bit better. But that's that's my only gripe about trying to complete this blue team is you have the mold. Give us a jubilee, man. It's not difficult, Hasbro. Um, but yeah, she looks pretty sweet in this team. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, we've got a new Gambit coming next year. And we'll probably get followed by a new Beast, I We've suspect. also got 90s um, Xavier coming out. So they really are trying to give us the the 90s team at the moment which is um pretty good we had jim lee cyclops and rogue last year and we obviously had um this um wolverine in his brown costume which he used in the comics for the 90s so all in all um psylocke i find is a fantastic addition and um worth the wait to finally get a proper 90s the one we had from toy biz was flimsy and well lacking should we say but hasbro have really brought um Brought their A game with this figure. They've really um, thought about what fans want, and I am really, really happy to have her. So um, if you can get her, I think she is um, a great addition to anybody's collection. Tell me if you have. Tell me what you like, what you don't like about her. Um, comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Smurd P. Um, ask questions if you need to know stuff. Um, if I know it, I'll answer. If I don't, I'll say sorry. <laughs> I'll send you somewhere else. Um, take care. Embrace the geekiness. Goodbye.